the laptop mic is one dollar. What's up guys, my name is Marsha Shapopi and welcome to the first episode of Tech Talk Tuesdays. Inspired by the homegirl, Miss Shameless and Casey Nysett's Mail Time. I think I'm going to make this a thing now. I like talking about tech. I tried to not talk about tech. I tried my best to make the vlog about something else, but I always end up talking about my gear. So how about we just make it official and have ourselves Tech Talk Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, I'm going to be talking about tech. Before I start this thing, upon review, I noticed that both two mics did considerably worse on the Nikon than the Canon. Your best shot is if your camera has manual gain. The menu, sound recording, and there you can hear the gain. I mean, you can see the gain. It's around negative 12. If I get really close to the camera, it's gonna pick a little bit. I also ran into some interference problems with the road. Well, it sounds good, because obviously a road mic can, you know, road. This is apparently common, which was quite disappointing, but there are solutions out there to fix this. So just keep that in mind. Right now I'm using the Canon 650D. I'm using the video mic go, and I hope I actually sound pretty clear. This is just a quick test to see if the mic that I put on actually works, because I remember putting the microphone on and it wasn't working as well. The, the gain was way too high. I don't know why it was like that. Now I am using the Nikon D7000. The first thing which is very clear is the quality change. This thing has some impressive gloss on it. And right now I'm using the Canon 650D. And now I switch back to this one again. So just so you can see the difference in sound. Okay, so now I'm using the lapel mic. By the way, this is the mic right here. And initially I thought that the best way and the only way to use this lapel mic is if you have an external recorder. But I just realized that my settings on my camera weren't changed and they were set to automatic. And that was a problem. The decibels are always just a little bit too high. Let me change it. Now I took the gain down. As you can see, it's a lot better. It's not peaking too much. I took it off auto gain and then changed it to manual and put it at a certain level so it can't exceed there. But obviously it's a lapel mic, it needs to have settings. If you have a lapel mic, you're probably a little bit too professional. So you will have to get used to that. Okay, right now I am using the lapel mic over here. It's pretty windy outside so I think I'm going to get the road mic as well just so you can see the difference. One of the cons of this mic, you can't move far. That's basically it. Let me turn away from the wind real quick so you can just hear me a little bit better so like I say you can definitely film with this thing even in the wind I've used this before I've used it in windy situations and it it is amazing when it's, you it's, think Africa you think of unique wildlife and nature which we have plenty of in this country I thought a one dollar microphone will not be able to do this but clearly it's it's not that bad let me take this I can't move around actually if I'm holding the camera so for vlogging it's not that bad but if you have something like this people will definitely know you're recording something and they will try to stop you in some way when you have this someone knows you're doing something it's probably professional when you have a mic on top of your camera they really like wait something's happening there in Grove Mall they just told me I should stop recording I shouldn't record with a camera shouldn't record with a camera but I can record with a phone what <laughs> Leg day. <laughs> yeah, so there's how it sounds. Hey! And that's how it sounds when it peaks. I was very impressed. I bought this as a goof because I thought to myself, a one dollar mic is not worth it. You will not get good sound out of this. But in my video about Namibia, I used this exact microphone and it did very well in very windy conditions as well. I'm pretty sure you guys should be impressed by now by this one dollar microphone. I mean, even if you're buying the road, you can buy this. What you doing, man? Exercising. No, I'm not exercising. Just playing with my new toys now. Find a couple of toys outside. He's not in pain at all. Hell nah. This. Big men's toys, you know what I'm saying? You can hear him pretty clearly. Hear me. Are you, are, are you sure they can hear you? Yeah, they can. You can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in the same windy conditions, but now we're using the road mic. This should <laughs> this should work. This should work perfectly. I, I, I have no doubts about the road mic. Let me rephrase that. I had no doubts about the road mic. But just to remind you, both of these mics are way too loud on the Nikon camera. Of course, there's a video mic pro which is better obviously because you know it's the pro this is the go but this is the easiest simpler one to use it's not that much more complicated but it gives you more options and it's pricier right now it's on 
high sensitivity so you can hear me when I'm stepping back as well you can hear me I think you can hear me pretty well I don't know how far you can hear me from but you know you can probably hear me while I'm back here as well okay let me just put this on real quick it doesn't come with the best with the best clip but it does have a wind muff so that's what keeps the wind from messing it up if I have a recorder I can be all all the way over here well you can probably still hear me on the road because I'm shouting but if I'm talking softly like this right now I'm gonna talk softly and I'm gonna move away and on the road on the road you won't be able to hear me as clearly obviously you won't be able to hear me as clearly and it's, it's gonna be a lot harder but on the mic you can hear me very clearly with this mic I can still hear myself with the lapel I can still hear myself when I step into frame with the road you can hear me a lot more clearly because of this and a car just drove by oh, you can hear me a lot more clearly because of this and a car just drove by I'll compare that with both two clips road you can hear me a road road you can hear me a lot more clearly these comparisons this is just the mics and their limitations these are the pros and cons of the types of mics themselves whatever mic you get even if you get the most expensive directional mic or shotgun mic it still has the same limitations if you move to the side you won't pick up that and most people see it as a limitation I don't think so because why would you record something that's to the side obviously you want something in front of you you can move freely with this you can give it to someone on stage you can obviously they have different purposes the types of mics have different purposes if you have a recorder you can walk around with a lapel mic however you can also walk around with this one you just unplug it right here and take it off here mic in and then and then record you see it sounds pretty good as well obviously it sounds sounds pretty great it's paired up with a pretty good recorder and now you can hear me as well you can hear yourself speak you can walk around freely you can do whatever you want but why would you why would you walk around with this it's it's impractical if you're talking about vlogging and you want to use it this way you could instead just hold your camera it's a no-go <laughs> mic on that I have the lapel on this so the conclusion which one is the best and which one would you buy there are pros and cons to both of them like I said but the main reason I would say I would buy the road is because I think it's a little more versatile the lapel mic is very professional of course it has very specific uses but I am a vlogger I want to put my camera down I don't want to walk around with a rope connected to me the whole time so I would take the road the winner of this comparison is without a doubt the lapel mic it's a winner because you can plug it in it sounds great it's cheap it works in the wind it's a dollar and it's comparable with a professional road mic so without a doubt the winner goes to the lapel you just get so much for such a little price and i guess that's it for TikTok Tuesdays. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> yes, um, can I get... Wow, we were waiting here so long. We didn't even decide what Thank we want. Do you have dunk wings? Oh my god. No.